Hey there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about applying fine grain password and account lockout policies in Active Directory. As you may know, Active Directory comes with a built-in password policy, but did you know that admins can configure stricter password policies and account lockout policies? This is especially useful for privileged accounts like members of the domain admins group as it allows them to have more secure password and account lockout settings. To get started, make sure you're signed into a domain controller or a member server with remote server administration tools are set installed for Active Directory domain services. I've already logged into my domain controller DC01 as a domain admin. Also, you will need to sign in with an account that is a member of the domain admins group or has been delegated to manage fine-grained password and account lockout policies in the domain. By the way, fine-grained password and account lockout policies require the domain functional level of Windows Server 2008 or higher. Since my domain controller is running Windows Server 2022, the domain functional level is already set to Windows Server 2016. So once you have everything set up, there are two ways to manage these policies using the Active Directory Administrative Center or using the Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell. So let me show you how you can create and apply a fine-grained password and account lockout policy in Active Directory Administrative Center. So I'm going to click on Start and search for Active Directory Administrative Center, or you can simply type DSAC, which is the shortcut to open Active Directory Administrative Center. I'm going to press Enter. Now on the left side, I'm going to expand Tasty Biryani, which is my domain name. And in the middle, you can see System. I'm going to open it up. And if I scroll down, I can see Password Settings Container. Double click on it. Now on the right side, click on New and click on Password Settings. All right, now I'm going to define my password settings. So I'm going to name this as FGPP1. I'll set the precedence value as one. This will be useful if you have multiple password policies defined for a particular user or a group. And if a user account is a member of multiple groups, the password policy with the lowest precedence value is the one that is applied. And I'm going to keep all these default options checked. So for the minimum password blend, I'll keep eight as the minimum password blend. And I'm going to enforce the password history, which is number of passwords that needs to be remembered. I'll make it 32. And password must meet complexity requirement. I'm now going to keep this option unchecked. Store password using reversible encryption. I'll keep this option checked. Protect from accidental deletion. And for the enforce minimum password age, I'm going to keep the default, which is one. So that means user cannot change the password within a day if it is already changed on the same day. And enforce maximum password age. So I'm going to specify 90. So users must change password for every 90 days. I'm also going to specify the account lockout policy by selecting this option. And the number of failed logon attempts allowed in my case would be five. And it's going to reset the failed login attempts count after 30 minutes. And I'm going to specify the duration for which the account will be locked out, which is again 30 minutes by default. Or I can just say until an administrator manually unlocks the account. Next, I'm going to specify to whom this policy needs to be applied. So under directly applies to, I'm going to click on add. And I'll specify my domain admins. Click on check name. Click OK. I will click OK to create the fine-grained password and account lockout policy. OK, so now we have created a fine-grained password and account lockout policy, FGPP1, and we have applied it to domain admins. Now, you can also use Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell to create and apply these policies. So let me open up PowerShell. So to apply a fine-grained password and account lockout policy, we use the command new ad fine-grained password policy. And we'll specify a name for, for this new policy. I'm going to name this as FGPP2. And the next set of parameters are going to specify the settings for the new password policy. So the first one is complexity enabled, which is set to true. And I'm going to specify the lockout duration, which is 30 seconds and the lockout observation window, which is also 30 seconds. And the lockout threshold for failed login attempts is five. The maximum password age is 42. And the minimum password age is one. And the minimum password length is seven. And the password history count is 24. And the precedence, I'm going to make this as two. 
because the first one has the precedence value of one and the reversible encryption enabled is set to false. And I'm also going to protect this password policy from accidental deletion, press enter. All right, if I go back to Active Directory Administrative Center and do a refresh, I can see the new policy FGPP2 with the precedence two. Let me go back to PowerShell. Okay, so now if you want to apply this new policy to a specific group, we use the command add 80 fine grain password policy subject and the identity is the name of the new policy that we created, which is FGPP2 and the subjects is domain admin, which is a security group that contains all privileged accounts in your domain. Now, instead of a security group name, you can also specify an individual user account. So I'm going to press enter. All right, so this is how you apply a fine grain password and account lockout policy using PowerShell. Now, as mentioned before, Active Directory comes with its own built-in password policy that is automatically set at the domain level. The thing is, this default policy doesn't actually enable account lockout. Now, the password policy comes into play when you change your password or when the admin sets it for you. Account lockout policy, on the other hand, keep an eye on those failed password attempts. Every time you enter a wrong password, it gets added to the bad password count. Once this count reaches the limit, within the specified observation period, your account gets locked for a certain amount of time. So admins have the power to configure stricter password policies and account lockout policies at the domain level but they can also fine tune these policies for a specific user account or groups. Here's the thing about fine grained password and account lockout policies. They completely replace the policy set at the domain level. So you gotta define all the settings that you want to apply because any other password policies will be ignored. Now, when it comes to applying these policies, only one password policy can be in effect for a user at a time. If multiple fine-grained password policies are applied, the one that is directly applied to the user account takes priority. If a user account is a member of multiple groups, the password policy with the lowest precedence value is the one that is applied. And hey, the precedence value is like a priority indicator. So if you want the right policy to be applied, make sure you set unique precedence value for your password policies. And if you're wondering which fine-grained password and account lockout policy is actually applied, you can use PowerShell and type the command get ad user resultant password policy minus identity Kathy dot sha, which is the username for Kathy sha. All right, you can see the fine grained password policy is applied for this user. And that's it by applying fine grained password and account lockout policies. You can enhance the security of your Active Directory environment and protect privileged accounts. If you want to learn more about this topic, don't forget to check out other videos and subscribe to my channel for more informative content. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.